It's one of the first things we look for when searching for new life, and it's essential to sustaining our own. We know there's water on Mars, but without much atmospheric pressure, it doesn't behave the way you think. I'm Ren Schmidt, and we're exploring the science behind for all mankind. Because water is essential to a future on Mars, we wanted to explore what it would take for Ed, Kelly, and the Mars crew to actually extract water on the red planet. Let's start with Mars's surface. It's not particularly habitable. Water requires pressure to stay liquid. Unlike Earth, whose atmosphere creates the pressure necessary to give us lakes and oceans, Mars barely has an atmosphere. So its surface is devoid of liquid water. Ice and gas can exist on the low pressure surface, but to find water in its liquid life-sustaining form, you'll have to dig deep. Where the weight of the ground above creates more pressure. It's this difference in pressure above versus below that makes extracting that water tricky as the liquid can turn suddenly and dangerously to steam. Welcome to Valles Marineris, the Grand Canyon of Mars, where scientists have recently discovered high levels of hydrogen. It's here that in the show, the Soviets detect a large underground lake using ground penetrating radar and team up with Helios to drill. Ed and the team know that the deeper they drill, the more pressure they'll meet underground. If they don't match this increasing pressure, the water will convert to steam, expand, and shoot up through the hole. So they pump CO2 into the drill casing, maintaining a pressure equilibrium. But when they fail to maintain that balance and the drill penetrates the reservoir, the drop in pressure makes all that water turn to steam and rush up. NASA's official Mars strategy is to follow the water. If we're going to make life there viable for us, we'll need a water source. We'll need to maintain the proper balance when we access it and make sure we aren't disturbing another life potentially thriving in the water just beneath the surface. 